So in order to keep on discussing the effect of the evolution of the different terms of the productivity index formula, so which affects each of these terms as on your productivity index, we are going to need to discuss about PVT, so pressure, volume, temperature, experience, and so we're going to need to introduce a few terms and a few concepts about it. So let's start now, and let's start by the phase diagram. So the phase diagram is a diagram like this one. So this one is for a pure component of ethane. So you have 100% of ethane. And it shows how ethane will change of states between liquid to gas with temperature and pressure variation. Basically, when you have a pure component like that, what's happening is that you have a line like this that separates the ethane in liquid state from the ethane in gas state. So basically, if you are in these separator conditions over there, because you are below that curve over there, it means that all your ethane is going to be a gas. Now, if you were to be at this pressure and temperature, then because you are above the curve there, then all your ethane would be in liquid state. Now, if we take a look at eptan there, if we have 100% eptan, so pure components, and if I have the same pressure and temperature than I had over there, in this case, because I am above this curve over there, my eptan would be in a liquid state. So now, as you can see, in the case of eptan at this pressure and temperature, I am in liquids. And in the case of ethane at this pressure and temperature, I am in gas. So now if I were to have in my separator a mixture of ethane and ethane, and if I were to be at the same pressure and temperature that I had over there, what we would see is that we would have a mixture of liquids and gas. So when you see this phase diagram, this is why you have a zone like this one over there in which you can have a mixture of gas and liquids. So let's describe a bit this curve then. So over there in green, we have the bubble point line. Over there in red, we have the dew point line and both curves will meet at the critical points in purple over there. And over there, you can read the critical temperature and there you can read the critical pressure. So they just correspond to the pressure and the temperature at which both curves will meet. So the bubble point lines mean that if you are above the bubble point line, so what we see in this green area over there, when you are in this green area over there means you only have oil. Dew point line means that when you are in this red area over there, so when you are below the dew point line, means you only have gas. And so when you are in the middle, what's going to happen is that if you are along this line, for instance, you're going to have a mixture that is made of, let's say, 90% oil, 10% gas. And as you move to one of the curves that gets closer and closer to the dew point line, as you move to one of these curves going down like that, the mixture is going to change and you're going to have less and less oil and more and more gas. So this zone in the middle then is going to be a two-phase region where you're going to have oil and gas. Now, what happens in your reservoir? So if your reservoir pressure and temperature initially is over there, what's going to happen when you produce the hydrocarbons that are in your reservoir? Your reservoir temperature is not going to change, but the reservoir pressure is going to decrease over time. So what's going to happen is that you're going to move along this line like that. Therefore, initially, the pressure is going to decrease, but as you remain above the bubble point line and over there above the bubble point pressure, you are only gonna have oil in your reservoir. Once you go below the bubble point line, you're gonna enter this two-phase region and therefore you're gonna start to have a mixture of oil and gas and as the pressure decreases, you're gonna have more and more gas and less and less oil. Now what happens when you produce or when your hydrocarbons moves from the reservoir to the 
separator. Then in this case, you're going to follow this dashed line over there, which describes the production path. And so again, as the pressure decreases as your hydrocarbons moves from the reservoir to the well bore, and then from the well bore to the surface, at some point, you're going to be below the bubble point line and you're gonna start to have a mixture of oil and gas and as you reach your separator you're gonna have a different mixture of oil and gas so the difference then between what happens in your reservoir and what happens when you produce to the separator is that when you produce from your reservoir to your separator not only the pressure decrease but also the temperature decrease so it's going to have some effect as well on your oil and gas mixture as you reach the surface.